There was two movies getting released this week that I was looking forward to. One was Abominable, which I've already done a review for. And, well, you guys all know what I think of that pile of shit. And then there was this movie. Now, I'm not going to lie. I had my doubts. But at the end of it, I got to tell you, man, I was impressed. Happy Wax TV. So tonight we're talking about a movie called Infection. It did the festival circuit last year and it got some pretty good reviews and it just got released. I think it was yesterday actually. It came out. It's uh, You can get it on DVD and you can also get it video on demand. Um, right off the hop, I am going to recommend this movie. I, I know there's, there's not a ton you can do with zombie movies that we haven't seen. And I'll be honest with you, okay, there's, there's nothing really new going on here, but a couple things that I liked. First of all, it's Venezuela's first zombie flick, which is great because, I mean, that's a poverty-stricken place, man. Holy smokes. And the other thing that I liked was this is Flavio Padota. He's the director. This is his first feature-length film. And usually when you hear something like that, you're like, oh, no. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But I was impressed. I mean, for the, the pace that this movie keeps... I mean, the direction is fantastic. Um, you know, as, as far as the the writers go, I mean, he also had a hand in that as well. I mean, but again, there's there's really nothing new here that we haven't seen before in other zombie movies. It's kind of like a mix between like the remake of Dawn of the Dead and 28 Days Later with maybe a little bit of The Walking Dead thrown in. That's It's kind of that kind of a mixed bag of tricks. It's got running zombies in it, and they're not technically zombies. They're, they're like, you know, rage, kind of rabia-infested people which means you don't necessarily have to shoot them in the head and they are fast running but they've gone the route of 28 days later style so i mean you don't have to be a marksman to kill these things you just pretty much shoot them and they'll keel over like a human does but what i did like though and this is this is also depressing too is i read in an interview and this is the one of the things that kind of piqued my interest about this movie is when the director filmed this now yes there were some set pieces and they gussied up some of the streets you know to look a little more you know ravaged but for the most part he just used what he saw as a background so I mean, in a way, that's depressing that these poor people actually live like this, you know, in this in this poor country and stuff. But I mean, it, it's it's cool that he he just used what's actually there to not only make a pretty good movie, but also to open a lot of people's eyes as to what this place actually looks like and the turmoil it's going through. Like, I mean, a lot of these buildings are decaying and falling apart. There's there's rotted cars parked on the side of the road and stuff like. I don't know, man. It, this movie, you know, movie aside, was an eye opener. If, if that's how these poor people live, I mean, my heart goes out to them. So, but back to the movie. Um, yeah, I, and the other thing too that I like is that the version I saw. And please don't ever watch a dubbed movie of any sort, let alone horror. If you can get the subtitled version, just just watch it. It's always better to watch a movie in its, in its actual language, having actual, like the people actually say the words coming out of their mouth, and then just read the subtitles. I mean, if you can't fucking read subtitles and, and enjoy a movie, then you got some fucking issues. Like, God, honestly, and I hear it all the time, and it drives me nuts. Like, do we have like a fucking kindergarten education where you can't do, read and watch a movie at the same time? Like, honestly, I, I hate dubbed movies. So thank God when they released this, they released it in Spanish, and then they subtitled it, which was fantastic. So it just it just made it that much better. Also, too, I like the fact that I don't recognize about anybody in this movie. It's all new, fresh faces. I mean, and they're, the acting was pretty damn good. Like I, I, wow, like I was impressed with this movie. Again, you know, you're gonna sit down, and it, it's nothing. It's nothing new. It, it's not a, a groundbreaking zombie. Well, it is because it's Venezuela's first kind of zombie flick and it's it's uh flavio's first directorial debut but i mean story-wise we're not we're not really getting anything new here it's it's basically there's a zombie outbreak uh our lead character and there's there's a ton of people in here which is great but it it like a lot of them die which is which is good because that's what you want in a horror movie you don't you know, i don't like these these movies where they have this band of people that go around and you know damn well none of them are going to fucking die or maybe like one or two will get picked off but like i mean we meet people in the first act like a group right and but a lot of them get 
killed. And I'm not trying to give spoilers, I'm just telling you what I liked. You know what I mean? And then in the second act, we meet another group of people, and most of them get killed. Like, nobody is safe in this movie, but the two leads, I'm not going to say their, their real names because I'll, I'll fuck up their names, but Adam, who is a doctor, and then Johnny's his neighbor. So basically, in a nutshell, when this, this uh, infection breaks out, um, Johnny's, uh, or sorry, not Johnny's, Adam's wife has, has just died of cancer, so he's, he's asked his parents to look after their son while he kind of looks after things and stuff like that. So they're kind of, his son's kind of gone out to the countryside to live with his parents, Adam's parents for the week while he looks after. Well, at the same time as when this infection breaks out. So his main goal is to get from where he is now in the city to his son so he can, he can get him. Yeah, I mean, who wouldn't that, but being a parent, that's the, I mean, your main goal, right, is to save your kids. And then he's also got the the um, you know the the quarantine and the and the army asking him to come and help them as well because they don't know what the fuck's going on and they've they've called in the WHO the World Health Order you know to try and create a vaccine for this thing kind of like what's going on here you know what I mean or I guess around the planet so I mean there's a lot of things you know pulling him either way but he's got to get to his son that's his main focus but. That, that's that's the movie is basically just him trying to get to his son but what i really liked in the first act is not only the fact that they threw in all these people so you don't know who's going to be safe and there's lots of killing in this there's not a lot of gore um but again i, I get that because it's a you know a, a lower budgeted movie but the pace is really good but what i really did like in the first act is he kind of went above and beyond letting us know how this virus started okay so and this is what a lot of zombie movies don't give us nowadays is we've actually seen how it starts and then from from patient zero onwards how it spreads throughout this town and how quickly it spreads and the confusion of people because they don't know what the fuck's going on you know what i mean like you know there's a, there's a scene where the the husband's wife gets bit and he's tending to his wife you know, who, who wouldn't, not knowing that, you know, she's going to turn into a zombie minutes later, and then he gets attacked, and it's that, that confusion in the beginning of the first act, and I, I love how they showed it, because a lot of movies don't do that, they just kind of brush through it, just assuming that we already know this, which which we do, do you know what I mean, but it's just nice to, to spend a lot of the first act just kind of giving that again, and, and going a little more in depth, and a little more feeling as to how people are going to react, and it makes you feel for these main characters a little bit more you know just not a couple guys running through you know cities and the countryside trying to save this guy's kids so i don't know i really did like this movie i mean again it's not like a great movie but it's a really good movie to give it a rating i'd probably give it like a six and a half maybe even a seven again there's there's nothing new here so don't don't go into it thinking you're going to see some you know groundbreaking zombie flick but it is really good the pace is really good it's filmed really well and some of the shots of this city especially if it's like he said he just shot what he saw because it was already there they didn't have to fix it up again they added some cars and some fire and stuff to it but for the decaying background that's more or less how it is man and that in itself is depressing so anyways it's called infection it's out now i really did like this flick um, make sure you rent it, check it out, and then come back and, and let me know what you think. And if you've seen this one already, chime in and, and let me know what you guys thought of this one. Uh, and again, again, don't watch the dubbed version. God, why do they dub movies? I don't know. <laughs> so, anyways, Infection, I liked it. I'm going to give it a good seven. And yeah, guys, until next time, stay scared.